Hi, I'm Vinaya. The aim of our tutorial to transfer the data from one database to another database. For this tutorial, we take a two database as an example. One is OpenERP, another is a DB1. So from OpenERP, we transfer the data to the new DB1. For that, first we have to create a job. So right click on job design, click on create job, give the name to the job as a data transfer click on finish here is an empty job is created so we use the postgresql as a database so click on in palette click on database and check out for the postgresql here is postgresql in postgresql there is a two components we require one is a T PostgreSQL input, another is a T PostgreSQL output. We also require another component, T map, that we found in a processing. Here is a T map. So first we make a link between these three components. So right click on T PostgreSQL input. So first option row, in that we click on main and make a link to the T map. Again we right click on T map. First option row, in that we click on the new output and make a link to the T PostgreSQL output. We give the link name output. So, first we have to check the properties of T PostgreSQL. So, in component, property type, click on repository. We use the OpenERP as a PostgreSQL input because we transfer the data from OpenERP. These are the properties of OpenERP. Schema. Click on repository. Select the table that we want to transfer from OpenERP. There are two tables, RES partner address and RES user. First we have to transfer the RES partner address table from OpenERP to the RES partner address table to new DB1 because in RES user there is a foreign key from the RES partner address. So first we have to transfer the RES partner address table. So click on RES partner address. Okay. Then click on guest query. Automatically query is created. Here is query is created. Next we have to check the properties of T PostgreSQL output. So in component there is a property type. We also have select the property type repository in that db postgresql is open erp but we have to transfer the data in new db1 so we here we click db connection new db1 here all these are the properties of new db1 so in table we have to select the table from new db1 so table name is RES partner address. So click on RES partner address. OK. This is the table where we have to transfer the data. Action of table is default and action on data is update or insert. Then schema, we click on repository. We have to make a DB connection. So here in new db1 we choose the table RES partner address. So click on edit schema, check out for the view schema. First here we have to transfer output schema to the input schema for mapping. So click on button and OK. Here, the output schema is transferred into the input schema. So click on OK. All the, and also 
click on synchronize columns button so if the properties of t process sql are done then we have to check the properties of t map 1 so in t map 1 components click on map editor here is a map editor so here is a option at the in output table auto map so the mapping is automatically done from the input to the output schema so click on apply and okay so our job is ready for run then click on the run tab and click on run button so here our job is run successfully 30 37 rows are transferred to the postgres sql output well so rs partner rs partner address table of open erp transfer to the rs partner address table to the new db1 first here the transfer of rs partner address is done successfully we minimize it now we have to transfer the data from rs user of open erp to the rs user of new db1 so again we take a three component from the database check out for the sql his postgres sql from postgres sql as we first done we take a two components t postgres sql input and t postgres sql output we also require t map component that we found in the processing so as we first done we make a link between them give the name to the output link as a output to click on okay so first we check the properties of t postgres sql input to that is a rs user table in that we check for the repository database is open erp all the properties are same in schema we click on the repository in this open erp rs user table yes it's fine and click on guess query the all process is same as the first we done then we check for the properties of t postgres sql output to here we also click on repository here we change the db we take a db as a new db1 because we transfer the data to the new db1 select the table from new db1 we use the table rs users okay so action on table is default and action of data action on data is update and insert schema click on repository select the table from the new db1 table schemas and select the table rs user then click on edit schema check out for the view schema here we transfer the output schema to input schema for mapping so click on transfer button okay here the here the all the properties of 
T process SQL output to are made that is for RES users in T map component click on the map editor so click on atomap properties atomap bu button here the mapping is automatically done so that first we remove these two field because that are not in output input schema so mapping is done apply yes click on ok so here is mapping is done all the final is this done so this is the ready for run we minimize it so here we introduce the new thing right click on t process sql 1 here trigger in trigger there is on sub job ok we make a link to the t postgres sql input 2 that is a for res user because res user is dependent on res partner address so when it's done successfully then it give the it runs the trigger on sub job ok successfully we also give the another component t message box here is a t message box so right click on t process sql input in trigger there is second option on sub job error here if any kind of error is fired during the t process sql input one then it gives the message in t message box here in component of t message box we, button is ok and we give the information that is error now our job is ready to run so click on the run tab click on the run button so here is our job is run successfully can check out here also there is no any kind of error in this window so we can check here there are two rows are transferred to the t possible output one that is two rows of res users of open ERP are transferred to the RS users of new db1 as per this tutorial we can transfer the data of open ERP that is the two tables RS partner users and RS user to the another database new db1 in RS partner address and RS partner users successfully thank you